hey guys what is going on welcome back to the channel today we're going to do a short little update video on all the parts that we have for the jeeps that we're going to be putting on so let me go ahead and show you the first one and also stay tuned because later towards the end we're going to have a new product for najar off-road it's going to be a collab with my friend who's a fabricator so you guys might like that this is a quick overview of some of the parts usually i have my jeep parked here but since it's broken at chris's house it's not here so one of the first things that I do want to show you is this piece here. This piece here is from my friend over at AM Custom Fab, as you can tell. This is his branding here. Look at this work, man. This is so dope. So you guys are probably wondering what this is. This is for the rear shock tower. So if you're running the Fox shocks, they're too short for the rear if you're running six inch. And it could use a little bit more length if you're running four and a half. So he actually custom made these for his Jeep and he asked me if I wanted a set. So I told him, sure. And look at this work, man. This is so nice, so clean. So this is like a drop bracket for the shock in the rear. He's working on something for the front as well. So go subscribe to him. He has a YouTube channel down below. And if you want this part, I would just DM him on Instagram. I'm sure he can make some more of these. So if you guys want to purchase something like this, hit him up on Instagram. I can't wait to put this on the Jeep, get some more down travel. So that'll be nice. Again, shout out to AM Custom Fab on YouTube. The second item we have here is for my Jeep. This is USA Standard Gear. So this is pretty much like a sister company to Yukon Gear. About a hundred bucks cheaper. That's why I went with this one. Um, it's honestly the same thing as Yukon from what I was reading. The part numbers are the same on both. Some sort of spec isn't up to code for Yukon, so they sell it under this brand, but it's still good from all the reviews I read. So if you're looking for a set of gears that are still gonna break the bank, but not too much, USA Standard Gear. They're pretty much the only ones who make gears for the Dana 44A or Dana 44 HD. Um, USA Standard and Yukon are pretty much the only ones, so that's what you're gonna have to get. This part right here, I'm sure you guys have seen on my Jeep. I have two LED pots on the rear, on the lift gate, and this is a part that we are fabricating right now. This is just a prototype. This part is a collab between me and my friend Nathan over at Liquid Metal Fabco. Follow them on Instagram. Help me support them because they're gonna be making a whole bunch of WJ parts for us, so go ahead and follow them on Instagram. I'll have them linked down below. This is one of the first prototypes so what it is it's gonna go on your license plate for the rear it's gonna have some spacers on the back so the metal doesn't rub with your tailgate i still have to make the holes for the pods but i think i'm gonna do the last fit light bar on the rear like i said this is a prototype so what do you guys think about this design you guys like the brackets on the bottom or should i put the brackets up top like over here um also the welds so as you can see the welds is that something we should leave in or should we grind those down another thing you guys like the gloss black or should we do like a textured paint like a like a semi black something like that um i'm not sure those are all just questions for you guys just to see what you guys are interested in i'm thinking of selling these for about 75 dollars because of all the material costs and labor and all that 75 dollars plus shipping and i might have a pre-sale open so we could get these started and you know get a run of them and probably sell those for a little bit cheaper I can't wait to put this on. It'll probably be on by next week. So expect that video. So apparently the last clip didn't record, but I wanted to say that we also have parts for Chris. Chris's Jeep, the black one, he is getting a bigger lift. It's going to be closer to mine. So they're going to be like twins with the bronze wheels. So be on the lookout for that video. We have some control arms coming for Chris. That way we can put on the like four and a half inch lift. Um, they're coming from Max Beanie Rods kind of like the ebay version so i want to see how good those control arms are and i feel like that'll be a good test we also have the front drive shaft going in on chris's jeep we got the yokes already from dan we'll be installing that this weekend so the video will be coming out shortly anyways that'll be it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed the update i'll see you guys on the next video peace